kind of people out there watch The View? I mean, honestly, I've never heard of a person get excited about a new episode of The View. I've never heard of anybody say, hey, a new episode of The View's on. I'm going to grab the popcorn, kick my feet up, and enjoy this new episode. Yes, I've been waiting for this. I don't know of anybody that thinks like that. Frankly, I don't understand how the show's still on the air. Must get like seven or eight viewers every day, but that's besides the point. On yesterday's episode of The View, folks, uh, they had uh, uh, Judge Jeanine Pirro on from Fox News. Uh, and I'm, I'm a big fan of hers, by the way. I think she does a great job, puts on a great show. Very, very smart woman. And during yesterday's episode of The View, she and Whoopi Goldberg, who is a nut job, a, I mean a, a, a complete lunatic, got into a heated exchange. Whoopi Goldberg, shall we say, got triggered. Oh, yes, yes. She got triggered. We have the video for you. Watch this. Question for you. Here's my question for you because you talk about you said you talk about. I am not. Judge. Nobody no, is. I, no, oh, yeah. Did you just point at me? Yes. Listen, I don't have. Let me let me tell you what just happened. <laughs> Uh, uh, Whoopi Gold or Judge Jeanine Pirro said to Whoopi Goldberg, "You suffer from Trump derangement syndrome," which she does. I mean, could, could we just be honest about that? Could we agree on that? And Whoopi Goldberg, did you just point to me? Yes, I did. And then she gets triggered and goes on this epic liberal rant. Keep watching. I have Trump derangement. Let me tell you what yeah, I you have. Do. Okay. I have a lot of. I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. Yes. I'm tired. Absolutely. You're tired. Oh, I know the conversation outrage. about this country. Yeah. Listen, you tell them. I'm 62 years old. There have been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never, ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. I've never okay. seen anybody be so dismissive. Dismissive, and- whip up hate. Yeah, that's Donald Trump. Yeah, you know, he's full of hate. He's, you know, a white supremacist. He's a white nationalist. He's, you know, Hitler. He's, you know, all the rest. He's colluding with Russia. Oh, Vladimir Putin. He's best buddies with Vladimir. I mean, all of these attacks on Trump. These liberals don't seem to understand that they're the ones full of hate. They're the ones full of hate. They talk about Donald Trump, how he's so full of hate. He's so, you know, hostile and all the rest. They're the ones that are expressing far more hatred than Donald Trump ever has expressed. Let, let's call a spade a spade here, folks. Let's just be honest with ourselves. These liberals are the ones full of hate. Whoopi Goldberg, you're the one full of hate. You're showing the entire country right now. Keep watching. I, and clearly you don't watch the show. So of course. you don't know that I don't suffer from that. Condescending what I suffer a-hole. from is the inability to figure out how to fix this. That's yeah. my issue. But one of the things that you talk about a lot, and I'm curious about it, is the deep state. How long has the deep state been there and who's running it? Well, the, the, I want to answer your question because you gave you had actually an, ask oh, you a question. You had I, your I, opening yeah, you statement. Did. Which wait, was, wait, wait. She said, I didn't actually ask you a question. Yeah, you did. You just asked her a question, Whoopi. I mean, are you really, what, what is your IQ, like four? I'm just curious. You just asked her about the deep state. That was a question. And then she says, I didn't ask you a question, actually. Yeah, you did. Short-term memory loss? I don't know what her problem is. Maybe it's Trump derangement syndrome. Oh, yes. Keep watching. How horrible it is that Donald Trump no, is talking no, no, about that's all what you, of these no, I'm people. Sorry, you know Peggy, what that's I think what you is horrible. You said, well, but you know you what's said horrible that it, when it people was, who it's shouldn't okay. be here end it's, up murdering the children of American citizens. You know what's horrible? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States sanctuary whips up cities. people to beat no, the hell out of people. No, say goodbye. Let me go. Say goodbye. <laughs> then, then she just shuts down the debate, and that's it. She has to get the the last word in. She just shuts down the debate. Why? Because she can't debate. That's why. Why? Because she's never taken heat before. Like this. Uh, Judge Jeanine Pirro, this is one of the reasons why I respect her so much. She doesn't back down. She dishes it to these libs. And I love it. And they don't know how to handle it. Other than say goodbye, and then she shuts down the debate. That's it. Gotta cut the break. I'm sorry. We're out of time. Because they don't know how to debate. They, all, all they know how to do is say Donald Trump is a racist, he's Hitler, he's this, he's that. And they can never substantiate anything. Oh my God, he, you know, he gets people to you know, uh, turn on one another. He, he stirs up violence and all the rest. No, he doesn't. I mean, th- this is, 
let me put it this way, liberals. If this is the rhetoric, if these are the talking points that you're going to stick to in the, in the weeks leading up to uh, the midterm election in November, you're screwed. Th- these are, this is not substance. You, you can't just simply run on, oh, we're against Donald Trump. You're going to get bulldozed over, quite frankly. You really are. So anyway, they cut to break. Whoopi Goldberg comes back, and she tries to explain herself. She says, look, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I know I got worked up there, but watch this. So you saw me do something I very rarely do. I very rarely lose my cool, and I'm, I'm not... Pro- Actually, Whoopi, you lose your cool all the time. And let me just say that many of these hosts on The View lose their cool all the time, particularly when they're talking about conservatives and Donald Trump. Hence, I don't know why it's still on the air. I don't know how it's still on the air. I don't know who watches this damn show. 